It's going to take a very, very long time to put that country back on its feet. It was devastated by the war, completely and utterly devastated. And it's really, I suppose, gone back to the Stone Age, possibly. Uh, and every single project, every single pound raised will have a really, really important impact there. The problems in Sierra Leone are huge. The, the numbers of uh, babies and young children dying of waterborne diseases uh, in any given year are horrendous. Uh, there are a huge number of villages out in the jungle that just don't have any water or clean water at all. They're drinking water that is contaminated by uh, uh, every kind of disease possible. So we've got a, a drilling team out there of three. We pay them the wages and we pay them an annual wage. We have to supply the equipment for uh, the, uh, the drilling rig and the materials used. So the plastic pipes that go down the uh, well, the uh, concrete to cap off the well and the pump itself that ultimately pumps the water up. And also because actually this is a highly difficult area of the world to work in. It's, it's not accessible readily, the infrastructure's uh, not there at all, there's no postage, the roads are potholed, you can hardly get out of second gear in a, in a vehicle on the, on the roads. Uh, it's a difficult place to work and actually that felt like a challenge to us. You know, it, it's, it's relatively easy to work in a place where everything is functioning reasonably well already, but actually that's not the place where people have the greatest need.